Hello lovely people. I got a big old pile of stuff from Aldi. Now if you don't know what Aldi is, it's a large supermarket chain from Germany and they are more your budget style supermarket so they may not have every single product in but they've been very very successful in Australia and I would say one of the main reasons is because every week on Wednesdays and Saturdays they put out what they call special buys and a few weeks ago they had their art supplies in the special buys and I was looking through the catalogue and there were a few things in there which I took a fancy to. Now some of these things I haven't actually gotten all of these things together for example the three tins here were ones that I'd gotten when they did the art supplies special buys possibly last year but they had them again this year so I thought I'd include them in this but I just thought I would go through everything that I found at Aldi this time and we can have a look together oh look at my lovely lights reflecting in the background there the first thing I'm going to show is the creative place which is the Aldi brand of art supplies this is the creative place art series deep edge artist board and this is a pack of two and they are wooden boards which you can see where the thickness is so they're very very thick and instead of painting on a canvas you just paint straight onto the wooden board obviously you paint some gesso onto the board first but I love these I've had them before I've done some other paintings on them and they're fantastic I much prefer them over canvas because they're really really smooth and yeah they're excellent to work on and the good thing with Aldi products is though they are quite cheap they usually have really really decent quality stuff so that's why they're really successful in Australia because you can get some really good stuff from them but yeah this is uh, 40 by 30 by 2 centimeter board best use for oil or acrylic paints so yes I would be using oil or acrylic paints on these but these are my biggest things sorry I can't quite fit them all in but <laughs> yeah they're very nice and I'm hoping to do some oil paintings in the future I haven't done any for a while but it's on my must-do list and I will get there eventually okay next I've just got some cheapy palette knives and I've already managed to squish the box there I think I bent one of my other palette knives and I had to chuck it somewhere and I find I use these quite a lot for mixing paints and all sorts of things um, sometimes using them to slice things open <laughs> but yeah they were I think two dollars or something so I just grabbed a pack of three and some of these little Taclon brushes which I mean they're very cheap and cheerful but I've used them before I have some that I got I think last year or the year before so I just basically grabbed a few more and I find them really really handy for tasks that you don't want to use a really good watercolor brush with and I might use them with acrylic paints or watercolors or inks and I just find them really handy to have and they're about three dollars a packet so it's not the end of the world if you get them stained or damaged and I've found with these ones that even though they're quite cheap the hairs actually manage to stay in them sometimes when you get a cheap brush they just fall out immediately and they get stuck in your work and everything I've not had the issue with these ones so they are really really well placed into <laughs> the end of the brush or the ferrule and so they're pretty good just for doing everyday sorts of paintings and random stuff that I don't want to use my good stuff with. <laughs> now as I said I got the boxes of pencils the time before when they had special buys. Usually they'll put art supply special buys out either once or sometimes twice a year but I'm pretty sure I've had these for at least a year and they are just sets of 12 pencils um, basically like that. I mean they're not super amazing but they're not too bad you know for a cheap set of pencils so I got the metallics I've got just the regular color pencils and I also got a set of watercolor pencils and I'm probably not going to swatch everything out today but 
I remember these were not too bad and I've actually put them in a drawer and forgotten about them and when I went to do the special buys this time I remembered them again because I saw them in store and went hey I've got those so yes I think I might have to do some art using only these pencils so that will be a future video hopefully next up they had some marker pens I've gotten their alcohol markers before and I've lost the um, packaging that I had the markers in they were in these really nice plastic boxes and I put the plastic boxes somewhere but I can't find them at the moment but I'll just grab one of their regular markers so just quickly before I talk about these these are also from Aldi they are alcohol markers so like your Copics and things but a lot cheaper and they have a bullet nib and a chisel nib on them so they're not the brush nib ones unfortunately but they're quite decent I've used them a few times and let me know if you want me to show a video about the graphic markers and maybe doing some artwork with them because I know that people are always looking out for cheaper versions of Copic markers so I'll put these aside for now because I really don't have the packaging with me but they had this time some twin tip markers which I've not opened yet I think these are more like the Tombow brush markers but I'm a little bit confused what they are exactly so I'm going to have a little look right now I think the water-based ink and dual tip and there's the colors on the back here and I shall struggle valiantly to get this box open okay let's just pull a couple of colors out all right all right so let's have a look at what we've got here it actually looks like both ends are bullet nibs but one is just larger than the other so let's have a look oh boy oh no it's a brush although looking at that it does look a bit I don't know if I can get that in focus for you it does look a bit tufty on the end so I'm not too sure how great that's going to be but the other end is okay a really really fine ended nib so let's have a little look and see what they look like when I draw them out I've just grabbed a piece of scrap paper here this is some drawing paper that I cut off okay I'm not too sure about this it's really really pale can you see how pale that is I don't know if that's meant to be that color or if this is just a really dodgy pen <laughs> oh no it is it's juicy it's just a much paler color I was expecting that to be a much darker magenta the lid that has the lines on it is for the thin little nib and the smooth side is for the thicker nib it looks like a bullet on there doesn't it but that is a brush <laughs> Okay, so I'll just pull this one out, which is like a deep bluey color. Yeah, okay, I think it's going to be the case with all of them that the brush nib is not that great. <laughs> but while we're here, let's just have a look. I don't know if you can see. Can you see how juicy that is? So there's a lot of ink in them, and I really love this color. Wow, that's beautiful. So they're nice, but maybe just not the most amazing quality when it comes to the brush nib and that's the the liner side of it I swear these lids do not go back on I am just like killing myself here trying to get it to go on oh my god yeah those are really bad so if you have hand issues these are probably not going to be great for you but I think I might just leave the rest for now I don't really feel like swatching everything today there's all the colors and I think I might have to do a marker video as well, just so we can see what we can get with an actual artwork. And the other ones, which is the main reason I went in the first place, are watercolour brush ink markers. And it looks like they are the proper watercolour tubes with ink in them. So I'm really, really interested to see what these are going to be like. I cut that in advance because it always takes forever to get those open. And I'm just going to drop these out, I think. Oh, look. That's pretty cool. Let's pick one. I'll pick a red. I've got to have the red. All right. Okay, it wasn't even that difficult when I actually 
read the instructions it says to just unscrew the top of the lid and then you remove this yellow bit here so this is kind of annoying because I really hate these little plasticky things getting into waste so I might keep them and use them in a craft project or something so I hate throwing stuff like that out remove the yellow ring screw the lid slash brush head back on firmly and squeeze the pen body to dispense the ink okay well let's have a go now I've gotten other ones I think I have the Jane Davenport mermaid markers and you really do need to store these upright I think otherwise they can leak what I've actually done as I was trying to open that bit there but it comes out at the bottom so that makes sense so then you would push this and it's a bit like any other paint marker or pen that you have to kind of squeeze the ink so it goes down into the capillaries of the pen and then gets into the brush okay this is taking a lot of squeezing but as you can see the red is slowly starting to come through and I'm squeezing and squeezing and squeezing here. Wow, that's taking ages. I'm definitely not going to do these ones on camera because we would be here for like a whole week <laughs> while I do it. So if I can get this first one done, I'll use it to paint something out on here and at least we can see how one of them goes. Okay, that took forever, but here we are. It's working a lot better now. So this is what the ink looks like straight out of the pen. It's very bright and vibrant. And I find that once the ink is actually down to the end, then generally you won't have too much of a problem with it, but it's just getting it started that's a nuisance. And this is like watercolor ink, so I will just get some water and spread it out. Okay, I just grabbed some water. And here's an LD brush that I already had open. Uh, so let's have a quick little look. Oh yes, they do re-wet quite nicely. This is not watercolour paper, but it will do for now. <laughs> yeah, pretty. I don't know how light fast these would be, but um, they're nice. Well, at least the red is a nice colour. I really do need to go through and squeeze all of these and swatch them out at some point but I think I'll be doing that at a later date just going by how long one pen took me to squeeze out which was felt like hours it was only a few minutes really and I have already briefly shown this in my watercolor collection video but I also really really wanted to get this set so between this set and the watercolour brush ink markers which were new this year I knew I was going up to Aldi to buy some things <laughs> and I will quickly pull them out again I have actually had a bit of an experiment with them already because I couldn't wait and oh, I can never get them out of the box there we go I've not used the brush yet but as you see the colours spin out like that and look you can see I've actually used that mixing well a little bit and it's a really awesome little set I have to say I'm really impressed with it if I just show a couple of colors on here the paint is surprisingly good I was really really surprised I thought it was going to be chalky or you know fairly budget but can you see how that is re-wetting really really quickly and look at that that is so thick it's almost like a gouache like consistency and it reminds me a little bit of the Kuretake Gansai Tambi set that it's maybe a little more opaque but the colors are just so vibrant and rich I am really really glad I bought this it was $12.99 and <laughs> that's pretty good price and yeah the colors on it are really beautiful so I'm so happy I got it and it was worth every cent let's just try another color it's a purple it's quite hard to tell what colors some of them are the purple I, th I think I remember wasn't quite as vibrant but that red is amazing and one of the blues perhaps um, let's pick this one So that's more of a opaque kind of blue, but there is one in there 
if I can quickly find it, which is much more um, like a phthalo blue and it might have been one of these ones. Let's have a try. <laughs> this one's a little hard to reach. Okay, no, it wasn't that one. Ah yes, here we go. See, they're pretty vibrant. I'm quite impressed with that. Okay, so one evening I actually swatched them out into my Traveller's Journal. And do let me know if you want me to talk about the Traveller's Journal because it is really cool. But I'd stuck in a few sheets of watercolour paper and here are the swatches of the Creative Place Aldi watercolours. As you can see, they're really nice and I'm quite excited to do a painting using just this palette so look for that in the future. Okay, next up. I've been wanting to do one of these for so long. I have done a couple of engraving arts before but they've been silver and I found that the design was in silver and when you scrape it back it's in silver and it was really quite hard to see the difference between the two but I found one that's multicolored and looks like it's just random patterns but I thought I would have a go at doing this so I might make this into a boredom busters video because <laughs> it looks like fun so I couldn't resist that the last thing I got was some of their coloring books they had these ones here, I'm just trying not to bend them too much, the Menagerie, the Aquarium and the Avery and then I also fancied the Amazing Book of Beasts. They're $4.99 each, I haven't peeled the stickers off them yet I just realised. But this one was kind of cool but they've got some interesting little facts about some of the mythological beasts and I thought some of the pictures were quite cute and it would be fun just to do small colorings you know when I can't be bothered doing a large coloring so I the paper's really nice and smooth probably mostly for colored pencil rather than anything watercolory but that is the book of beasts and then I've got these ones I really love the covers I mean how shiny and pretty is that but these are this sort of design which I quite like to do when I'm just bored and just want to use pens or colored pencils or anything like that but what I do like about these is that they do have a blank side so the artworks only on one side of the page so you could conceivably try using watercolors or something like that and it doesn't matter because if it gets a bit wrinkled it's only going to go onto a blank side of the page but there's the menagerie the aquarium I think this was the one I picked up first and I decided I wanted this one but in the end I just thought it would be fun to have a whole set of them so they're quite cool some of them are a little busy but that's the sorts of designs that are in them they're pretty detailed and so the last one here is the Avery which is portraits of birds and once again so shiny <laughs> and yeah there's some pretty cool designs in here so these were just a bit of an impulse buy but I like to have coloring books and I thought these were really nice so that's what I got so that's everything that I got I hope you enjoyed watching my little art haul it was fun going up there and there were a few things which I just threw into my cart that I wasn't expecting to. I really wanted the watercolour set which I've still got out drying because that one is taking forever to dry. This was the thing I went for and then of course I came back with loads of other stuff as well because sometimes you just can't beat the price. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to talk more about any of the products you've seen today, any reviews and I will do some artworks Hopefully ones that are just only using the Aldi art supplies. So look out for those coming in the future. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And are staying safe and well. And I will swatch you later. Bye.